the relationship of me consumption to diabetes is the bigger question here. Part of it is it turns out that animal fat actually increases insulin resistance. That's been shown. And how does it do it? Well, it does it in a variety of ways, but it plays into the question. So first of all, animal fat by itself uh, tends to uh, destroy the beta cells of the, the pancreas. And we know, for example, with fish, people who have two helpings of fish a week uh, have a, a significantly increased beta cell decrease function. In other words, it, it's killing the beta cells. Okay, so that's one. Second thing is animal fat accumulates in the cells and it blocks intracellular insulin signaling, which is key, extracellular insulin signaling. It blocks the uh, GLUT4 uh, receptors, which receive the insulin in the cell, blocks them from migrating to the cell, and it also blocks their function. All these make the cells more resistant to insulin. So animal fat is a, a big player. Now, animal protein, now we're talking about animal fat, animal, has other problems. Animal protein has more estrogen. And this is a, uh, a definite issue is that we see people with diabetes type 2 have higher estrogens, including the men. And the reason for that is uh, Insulin uh, converts testosterone to estrogen. It activates aromatase, and that's a problem in itself. A lot of men who I treat with diabetes really have much higher estrogen. They actually start to grow breasts, and so we give them um, herbal uh, supplements that build up their estrogen production, literally. It's key, key understanding. So. Estrogen is a player. Low fiber in meat increases estrogen. It's really interesting that vegan women have half the amount of estrogen in their system because the vegan diet is lower, is higher in fiber that helps pull it out. So we're talking a few different things. We're talking about animal fat has a specific effect in blocking insulin function. Now, animal protein also has a problem. Animal protein is high in leucine and methionine. Now, that leucine and methionine disrupt the mTOR pathway. What's that? Well, it has to do with longevity and anti-cancer. Okay? So that's one part. So we know that diabetes is a chronic degenerative disease. In other words, it accelerates aging. So, in general, that's what's happening. In specific, leucine is, which is much higher in meat, okay, actually kills the beta cells of the pancreas. So we have the meat fat having its effect, and we have the meat leucine and methionine blocking or killing the beta cells, and also we have meat having more estrogen. The other thing that meat does is it's inflammatory. And what we know with diabetes is it is a driving force behind diabetes is inflammation. So, diabetes, so meat is adding to that inflammation. Meat also has what we call ages. Okay, and what, what that is, it's where glucose and fructose are bind unnaturally with protein. In, uh, Diabetes, we, we see A1C, where, where the uh, glucose or fructose is combined unnaturally with the hemoglobin. That's how we measure how, how serious your diabetes is. But it's a bigger picture because the whole body gets glycosylated. Okay, so the advanced um, glycosylated uh, glycos glycos protein combinations are associated with increased rates of diabetes. Partly, uh, it, it's because they create inflammation, they create oxidant, they create free radicals. So meat turns out to be 
it's got its own ages. Events glycosylated in products, key, key concept here. So when you eat the meat, fish, chicken, you're taking it in to you. So not only do you have your own that you're making, but now you're getting it exogenously. So that's a little bit of a problem because now you're increasing your ages and that makes things worse in the, in the system, particularly increasing free radicals, creating oxidation, and generally inflammation. So these are, there are multiple levels that we're looking at where, where meat is, is, is bringing the ages in, adding estrogen, it's low fiber, which um, uh, speeds up how quickly sugar can get into the system. So there are many, many levels in which meat, fish, and chicken really accelerate the diabetes uh, whole process. The research is pretty good. The best study was with 12 studies from around the world, and they saw that, uh, that there was a 35 to 50 percent increase uh, in diabetes for meat eaters. In other words, what they really found is vegans had 35 to 50 percent less diabetes for all the reasons that I'm talking about. And these are pretty sophisticated reasons when you see the whole picture. So the other thing is that it actually, apparently the meat protein itself stimulates an excess of insulin secretion. And that's associated with diabetes as well. It's a long story, uh, but the key is the more insulin secreted, the body begins to resist it and then goes into insulin resistance, which is uh, uh, associated with diabetes. That's a long story made short in that. So it's, it's many, many levels that meat, fish, and chicken create a, a problem here. The, the connection is that meat increases the amount of estrogen in the system and there an excess estrogen tends to stimulate breast cancer. That's a direct connection. Now there's an indirect connection, and that is meat increases your rate of getting diabetes. Okay? And insulin secretion, which is connected with the early stages of diabetes, has a Insulin not only works to bring sugar into the system, but there's another piece here. It's important. You know, it, it, insulin is anabolic. And it tends to increase the rates of cancer in certain organs and tissues. Breast being one of them. Prostate. Colon. Endometrium. Ovaries. So we have, and, and really pancreas. So there are certain target organs that higher insulin tends to create cancer in breast being one. So that's the indirect cause. So there's really two levels of that uh, picture.